Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming and listening. Some years ago, I was fortunate to be given a tour of Steepletop. Steepletop is the estate in Upper New York State where Edna St. Vincent Millay and her family had property. And it's also where she spent the last 25 years of her life. The person who gave me the tour was gracious and very generous with her time. And she took me over all the grounds. And she showed me the barn that Edna bought as a kit from Sears Roebuck. And she showed me the gardens that Edna tended and all the residential buildings. And the very last stop on my tour was an outbuilding which had one very large room in it, empty except for her grand piano. I said to the lady, may I play it? She said, oh, no. The caretakers handle this piano, and occasionally we have concerts. And she pointed to a very far corner in the room where there were stacks and stacks and piles of songbooks, popular music, classical music, folk music, music for kids, and books of Edna's own handwritten manuscripts for vocal and piano. They were in total disarray, just piles all over the floor. She said, we haven't had the wherewithal to do the organizing. I said, I will organize them for you. I will catalog all these books for you. She said, well, that is a very kind offer. I will take it for advisement. <laughs> One month later, she called me in Seattle. And she said, Dan, would you please come back and catalog Edna St. Vincent Millay's books and musical papers? I said, of course. Of course I will come back and do this for you. So I went back to Steepletop. I didn't know how long the project would take. They set me up with a workstation up above the administrative spaces. And I went to work about five to six hours a day, organizing, sorting, cataloging all the music books and her musical papers. And placing everything on spreadsheets so that they would know what the holdings were. And it took me nine days to do it. And at the end of the ninth day, the guide came up from downstairs and she said, Dan, we have figured out how to thank you for the work you've done for the society. She said, we're going to allow you to play Edna St. Vincent Millay's piano. I don't. And she took me back out to the outbuilding, and she left me alone with this gorgeous instrument. And I sat down all a twitter, my thumbs and my fingers just tingling, and I played the rest of the afternoon music I know on Edna's piano. And I was in heaven. On one of the days that I worked, instead of taking a lunch break, I decided to take one of the books off the shelf and memorize a sonnet that she wrote. And so I'm going to leave you with this love sonnet by Edna St. Vincent Millay. You will know immediately that it's about paradox. And its paradox has, paradox has been very important to me in my life. Loving you less than life, a little less than bittersweet upon a broken wall or brushwood smoke in autumn. I confess 
I cannot swear I love you not at all. For there is that about you in this light, a yellow darkness, sinister of rain, that sturdily recalls my stubborn sight to dwell on you and dwell on you again. And I am made aware of many a week I shall consume, remembering in what way your brown hair grows about your brow and cheek, and what divine absurdities you say, till all the world and I, and surely you, will know I love you, whether or not I do. <laughs>